This is a story about horsepower, tires, and torque, but it's also very much about corporations. We begin in the mid-1960s, and the Ford Motor Company, led by Henry Ford II, is just sputtering along. Sales are not so great, so they decide to cut a deal with Ferrari. Rising star executive Lee Iacocca heads to Italy to negotiate and returns with this update for the big boss. Mr. Ford, Ferrari has a message for you, sir. What did he say? He said Ford makes ugly little cars in ugly factories. And uh, he called you fat, sir. We're gonna bury Ferrari at Le Mans. Le Mans is a racing marathon, a grueling gauntlet 24 hours long. Matt Damon plays Carol Shelby, a true life Texan, one of the few that actually won that race. Now he works as a car designer. Ford hires him to win, but it's not gonna be that easy. You need a pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. He heard he's difficult. No, no, Ken's a puppy dog. Puppy dog? Well, more like a bulldog. Christian Bale is Ken Miles, the British-born fearless driver. He'll put a wrench through your windshield if he doesn't get his way, but under the right conditions, he's unstoppable. I love a good racing film. I grew up on Cannonball Run and Smokey and the Bandit, and I will defend Days of Thunder until the day I die. With these stars and the director who made Logan, this should be my new favorite film, but Ford versus Ferrari never really hits top gear, and the problem is the engine of the story. Again and again, the film tells us about Miles' talent, the brilliance of the designer Shelby, but instead of demonstrating their technical innovations or giving us insight into what made Miles such a remarkable driver, it's a story of how a corporation got in their way. And Miles is not a Ford man. We're on the verge of something. And now you tell me that I can't have the best man in the world behind the wheel? That's right. For all the talent on and off screen, the biggest opposition in Ford versus Ferrari is Ford. In the end, the result is a movie about rebellious racers learning to tow the company line. And that's how this Oscar contender ends up as a slow and steady three-star rating. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.